Welcome to First Minister's Questions Review. This um, Thursday, the what is it, the 16th of May? Almost feels spring like. Almost. 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 Yeah, considering we're in summer, that's not too bad, eh? The, you, all the usual suspects are, are present. Okay. Mr. Phil Attridge, Mr. Alex Xander Grant, who will post his name for you today, Norman Stewart. Very good. Stuart Lockhead. Good to see you guys. And um, who should we start with? I've all seen as you've been missing for a couple of weeks. Mr. Uh, Attridge, can we hear your overall impressions? Overall impressions? I thought Salmon was on good form, nice bit of anger, and a bit of exasperation. Um, Joanne Lamont, I thought, was. I mean, I'm never too impressed with her, but I thought she was cheap, nasty today. All I could think is that poor woman that they drank <coughs> and sat. It's cancer patient. Cancer patient, you know. Oh, come her along. I mean, they just used it. That was cheap, nasty. I mean, that was straight out of the sun, straight out of the Daily Mail. She should be totally and utterly ashamed for her. Yeah, and just as an aside, side, this is a woman that has so much com compassion for people. She had no compunction in voting to support an illegal war that killed hundreds of thousands of people. And I'm still waiting for an apology, anybody? No. no. Um, Ruth Davidson? Well, it's quite right though, isn't it? This is Kamikaze. How stupid can you get? Good performance though. I mean, she did just yeah, do that good yeah, performance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it was quite obvious what was going to happen. He just, you know, slapped her away. Um, what was it he call it? Something pantomime? Embarrassing pantomime. No, yeah, she yeah. called that. Yeah, she called that. She used it. She just back. turned it back. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, kamikaze tactics. I mean, she just ended up, well, to use an expression, truth in the West, she was talking pish and he just took the piss. You know, um, and that about scrubs it. Then you had um, Margot as well, just to, out of that. Um, she came up with, um, you know, the, the, those that are on a tag, those that are inside. This is about debating who should get a bid and yeah, who should get a vote in a referendum. If you're, if you're outside with a tag um, and if you have to stay in prison for the same offence, but. You don't get a vote. You don't get a vote. Well, if you're going to be in that short term, it's just a matter of bad luck if you happen to miss an election. It's not got, you know, it's well, only if you've got a long term, really. Um, overall, I thought it was, yeah, quite good. Well, considering I haven't seen one for two weeks yet, that was quite good. I think we'll go to Norio, because I know that Alex will go on at some length. <laughs> <laughs> How rude. Um, I, I think Joanne's definitely oh. comfortable now. Um, I thought there was a convention. Maybe it only applies at Westminster, where you didn't bring individual cases in front of the House of Question Time. You made me squirm. It was, oh. it was really ridiculous. Um, so I'm going to say, I think what Alex Hammond couldn't say because he's a politician. I'm sorry. Some people are just going to die because you can't cure everybody. Yeah. And that's a fact. And really, really bad politics, I thought. <laughs> if you can't make your argument without bringing in individual cases, you know, okay, you have to deal with them as an, an MP, an MSP. Um, I, I thought it was really bad for us. You should crawl back under the coastal. He was very diplomatic, he could have. But I, 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 yeah. she continues to improve. Yeah. I'm sorry she does, her delivery is much better. That's um, improvement? She, well, I suppose so, yeah. yeah. She's found that place which is kind of between anger and fear. <laughs> I mean, between the Sun and the Daily Mail. Uh, yeah. Well, no, she, 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 her delivery is much better. She's much more confident. The Labour Party are back to banging desks and want their. Oh yeah, that was, that was very noticeable. Um, but that's a sign that she, she's got them going. It's just a pity she has to ask um, Labour in London about every decision she makes. Ruth Davidson delivered good, <laughs> reasonably professional as always. Um, but as I keep saying, where can she go? She I mean, it was very noticeable. Essentially, she just, I think she just wanted to bring up the EU because that's the big issue as far as the Tories are concerned. And she brought it up, that's, that was their angle. Well, her, her, question, the, her, question, the question, her question was about the legal advice. Well, I appreciate that, but she'd be, she and simply Salmond wanted to bring the EU that. into the Scottish, uh, no, Scottish I'm environment. Sorry, she did. Salmond was the one that put the emphasis on the EU. Okay. You know? Well, um, which is going to throw up some interesting questions down the way. Alex? Um, yeah, I think one of the issues we have that comes out every time we have this conversation is A, who's watching this anyway, and for those who are watching it, 
who's scoring under what premise. There's no doubt in my mind, I, I agree with Nori, that John Lama actually was capable today of ad-libbing uh, and she's increasingly mm. getting her confidence level up. However, you know, she was firing a form of missile which was morally pretty questionable, but it's a real tricky subject that uh, it's very easy in opposition to attack the government for not making the decision. But that coming from the woman who says, you know, uh, this is a something for nothing society and we've all got to make difficult decisions and you're not doing it. And then all of a sudden she drags this Mrs. Maureen Fleming into Holyrood and uses it that way is pretty bleeding questionable. So I'm torn in terms of how I would assess Joanne Lambert's perf performance, I think was good. The subject of, perf of her performance was bad. It pinned, they didn't have it. They couldn't, of course, stick the boot in today about unemployment going up because, contrary to the average, Scotland went in the other direction for what it's worth. So nobody, nobody talked about that. So cheap shot, but a stench of hypocrisy there. Somewhere. St stench of hypocrisy, and you know, and Alex, I think, said that in the only measured way he mm. could. So I thought the way he came back was he was on a hiding to nothing, saying, "I can't help this poor woman up here who's got." who's got bowel cancer, but you know, the National Health Service isn't a bottomless pit and I wouldn't like to be Mrs. Fleming's boy or husband, failure or whatever it might be. So, uh, yeah, good performance for her, but cheap shot. Um, Ruth Davidson, as far as I'm concerned, uh, was, I agree again with Nori, she was very TV presenterish in her presentation, very clipped, very good. But the fact is, it was a kamikaze job because you know he could get back there and stick it in. As far as I'm concerned, she was she was she was feeding off Fiona Hislop's interview on, on Newsnight, where yeah. the whole legal issue came up, and Fiona Hislop said, "Well, we've got the legal advice on that; it'll go into the white paper." Um, see, she could have had a she could have had another go about currency. In actual fact, because Fiona Hislop wouldn't answer the question properly on currency, which was. Well, if England's out of the EU and Scotland's in the EU, we can still use sterling. What are you talking about? Because we're using it at the minute. I'd, I'd like Alec to have actually taken the opportunity to stick that one in while he's talking. Okay, well, look, so, Ruth Davidson, did, I mean, what, what about Margot's point? Was it, or, or one of the minor um, players? It's, it's a very good moral point. I think it's a bit like Lockerbie, I'm afraid, uh, prisoner voting. It is. I don't have any doubt there's loads of people in the SNP who, who are absolutely certain McGrath was innocent, but you don't want to talk about it because I'm sure that if you do, you'll unleash the, you know, legions of hell. This is slightly, slightly easier. Again, I'm sure there's lots of people in the, in, in the socially democratic side of the SNP who would happily give some prisoners the vote, but there's no percentage in it because if, no. you, if you do it, the opposition will hammer you. But what about the possibility that we've been waiting for, bear in mind that um, the Liberal Demo Demo Democrats, they get two out of three weeks they always get a question yeah and we've been waiting there's another group of five yeah. independent and they should get one msps with margo mcdonald uh the two greens and two um smp yeah. independents yeah margo got a question today i didn't i don't know if that was in that context or was well, it just another backbencher i, I don't know I they seem they certainly <clears throat> they seem to be getting between her and Patrick, Patrick Harvey, Harvey and the SNP guy. Yeah, 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 I know you. And um, they've had a question every three weeks. Yeah, and, so it, and it has turned up. I think it's unofficially. Going I, on. I think it looks like it. I mean, Patrick Harvey told me that it was basically down to the presiding right. officer. Yeah. Now, can I point something else out that um, you guys maybe didn't notice? You mentioned um, the unemployment figures. Mm -hmm. uh, the BBC did not. Uh, they didn't open up. They didn't go live to the chamber in time for. A, now, Alex Salmon's first answer to Joanne Lamont's first mm. question. Mm. We could have him, we could pick, pick it up off the, the internet, internet yeah. and he talked about it at that point. But yeah. the BBC. They, now, you could say, is that a policy? Because he. Page, give, page give, give, give him a chance. He would give him a chance. Six in the Herald? Mm. It was mentioned? I mean, that should have been a headline. Have been a because he. he bear in mind that, generally speaking, these days, Alex Hammond will either take the opportunity with his first answer, which is just a general question, to make a positive statement yeah. on behalf of the, the government, yeah. or a, a, a diplomatic one. If it, if it, um, and do you think that was an editorial decision by the BBC to, I, to, to avoid that? I, I wouldn't say it was. Actually, I'd say it was worse than that. I mean, I could quite understand if they made an editorial decision. I think it's called contempt. 
No, it, it, what it is, is it's quite simple. It's subservient. To yeah, daily, I mean, sorry, to yeah, well, they'll come to on in a minute. Who cares? In yeah, who cares? That's it's what matters. It's subservient to daily politics yeah. in London. Do you see Scotland get a half hour? They've got to top and tail it. They're not giving them They've 40 played, minutes that, to top and tail that it. Has been flexible. That has been flexible in the past. The, you know, but uh, certainly in this talking over the well, first part of it, it, it they, they wouldn't dream of doing that to uh, no. camera. Or, no, or brown. So it's, it's, it's ignorant. It's good to have your commentator your, your talks over. Your yeah. property exactly. Exactly. So, get used to it. Okay, exactly. Yes, yes. Well, let's. Um, well, I'm, I'm, I'm going to point else to doubt. But I have to agree. I have to agree. That generally, generally today, um, Joanne was good. And uh, I more or less agree with what Nori was saying. She seems to have settled down. Um, and apparently, I, had, I didn't notice she was ad living. I had a technical issue to deal with. Um, but yes, it was good. Um, Alex, I thought, was um, very diplomatic in answering. Yeah, well, he had to be. As I say, he could have <laughs> stuck the knife in, because he can quite cleverly do it in a kind of obtuse way when he, when he wants to. But uh, it was a, I thought it was absolutely disgusting, low, to bring in uh, a dying woman uh, and use her as, uh, a, a a, 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 as a weapon, yeah. as, a, as a tool to attack the government. I thought that was just, how low is that? That's beyond the sun and the, and the news of the world and all that. That's absolutely shocking. Uh, Ruth, I have two. I thought she was very good today. But as I say, where can she go? Um, I'm not sure if I agree with you, Nori, that... Uh, yeah, she brought up the legal issue, and as uh, Alex mentioned, it apparently was a, a follow-on from last night's news night, which I didn't see. But, um, but I still felt she was taking an opportunity just to raise the European issue, because then I, the Tories are absolutely obsessed with it at, moment, at the moment. And that can help, but it doesn't play well to the Scottish scenario. I mean, you would think, given the, given the problem they have, <coughs> because there's no doubt the European issue for the Tory party makes it much easier for the SNP to make its point. So if I was her, I'd have asked something else. I wouldn't have given them an opportunity that's, to stick that What in. else does she ask? But that, well, go sorry, go on. No, I just said, that's the Tories in that compass, so that British stroke English Imperial, we hate Johnny Foreigner, look at them. That's where they, they love it. Yeah, they do. They, they do. just love it. They sit, you can sit, they're all getting their end away. They're the thinking the about it. The further south you go, the more well, it is like that. It's even I, worse than the south. I have to tell you, I think you've both just been totally suckered by Alex Salmon. She didn't mention Europe. The only context she mentioned it in was she said, You now yeah. have legal advice yeah. on Europe. She used no, the Euro. She mentioned Europe. That was it. Europe. And then Salmon took Europe. the ball out of her hand. Stuck in his back pocket and scored between the books. Yeah, now you're right, Nori, in, yeah. in that she was saying, as and it's a continuation of a theme, you're a liar. Okay, you told yeah. a lie, and I'm and he and you're still telling lies, and you won't. You, you're spending our money defending the legal advice yeah. you say you now that have, and you're question. not telling us what the cost was and mumble grunt. But but by 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 contextualizing the question at Europe, he then goes whoop. <laughs> Yeah, but totally embarrassing. Because our question was, how much did defending did yeah. the fact you didn't, didn't have legal advice? Yeah, yeah, but he did. Awesome. He did answer that in a way because he doesn't have to answer it because it would be illegal. But no, no, did, no, no, said, no, no, no. He said no, it's no, a, a question, fraction of what you quoted. It wouldn't be illegal for him to tell her how much it cost no, to sorry. defend no, the position. Wouldn't. No, it wouldn't. Because no. that's so what he ignored it. Yeah, he then took the ball and turned the football into a rugby ball. Well, she has got to go. <laughs> Basically, but that's it. And that's and what you fooled do. everybody sitting here except me. <laughs> okay, all right. Uh, uh, wait a minute. That's a thing. Hang on. Maybe uh, Alex. Can we vote on this? No, no. can we all get a cat and doff it to it? <laughs> <laughs> but that, that is, was kind of the, the outstanding moment in Alex's day today. Yeah. The, I mean, he didn't even have to go down the road of, oh, by the way, you Tories are all mental. <laughs> right, then let's try some scoring. I'm going to start with Alex, because uh, there's a while since we've what are you, what are you gonna, who are you going to score top? Well, I, you know, X got to be top. Um, I, you know, I give X eight uh, because I've seen him better, and if ten's the maximum for him, again, the scoring is always difficult because you have to contextualise it for the person. I'm inclined to give Joanne Lamb a six, but I'm only going to give her four because of what she talked about. Mm. Um, Ruth Davidson, her delivery was good, but she scored a bit of an own goal. 
to be honest, I give it a four as well. Margaret McDonald, I give seven two. It's a very good point. Um, I think if you're into real politic, it's, it's not helping the government to say it, but, but she took the moral high ground, so good on her. That's the others. I guess you don't want to score anybody else. So. Not really, because uh, I still feel that the presiding officer, you know, that desk banging. Right, she needs to stick it to them. That would have been quite difficult to do with today because they were disciplined about it. They only did it for you know, 20 seconds. <laughs> it was one it's course. It's bloody annoying though. It just, mm. it, I just feel it drags everything down. Well, what she wants to do is put them in detention. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Effectively. You know, <laughs> you at the back. Teacher, yeah. control your class. Yeah. Right then, Phil, scoring. Um, Alec, I thought he was very effective today. Um, no, I'll go along. I'll give him an eight. But I'm actually going to give Joanne seven for the opposite reason, oh, okay. uh, for being an effective, yeah, well, nasty, cheap excuse for an honourable leader of the opposition. Yeah, okay. That's all she wants. Nasty and cheap, and she's actually quite good at it. <laughs> and I was really ashamed at the others. And if that's what we're going to have to look for, for her to actually do it, then I'm sorry, she should bugger off back to teaching again. Uh, I thought that was absolutely horrible, that poor woman. Mm -hmm. um, and then you had Ruth. Yeah, Ruth was very good. I uh, mean, yeah, I'll take your point, Nori. Uh, but I'm sorry again, it was. She was still talking pesh. Um, so, um, but I'll give her four. She's good at delivering, Robert. Oh, she's very good at delivering. But yeah. <laughs> She'd sell you. Anyway. And there wasn't really. Oh, and the presiding and officer. Margot. 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 Margo, I'll give. Oh, I'll, always, I'll give Margot a knife for being Margot. <laughs> He's a star. Oh, she should, she should be our first president. Absolutely no doubt. And the presiding officer. Well, on the whole, they were relatively bad. There was the odd outburst that she couldn't do. So I'd give her, I'd give her five. I'll give her five. Yeah, I'll give the presiding officer the same because it, it was only one little bit. No, really. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm becoming well impressed with Joanne. Um, she's, as I say, she's found oh. this, this ground that's nasty and quite cheap. well it's she's a bit angry but it's held in she's beginning to look like maybe she could do better than a cleaning job you know yeah she could get a job as a columnist in the sun yeah well, no true, I, yeah. I, I, I think she's getting better and a lot better and consistently better so i'm going to score her high she's also dressing better consistently. Um, i agree i what a nasty bastard for a leader i agree much. with the way she went about <laughs> applying the pressure was oh. it was disgusting as i said earlier off camera i always thought there was a convention where you didn't do that yeah. there should be but perhaps um maybe that's which my thinking. constituent you, you do hear it come along the loser make payments yeah. questions make us what those. people tend to do it's usually an mp a prime minister's questions and he tends to read out their words yeah i suppose so. you know this this idea that i'm going to use you as a bullet I, I just makes yeah. me very uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. Alex, I'm going to give an eight. I don't think he performed that that well, but I don't think he lost. No. Uh, Ruth Davidson. I think it's a little bit of me admires Ruth because she gets up every well, single week, and it doesn't matter what comes out of her mouth. You know, there's somebody down in London that you can use to beat her to death with. Oh, no, 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 it's all on that way to that little safe seat in Surrey. No, well, I'm, I'm going to give her a five. We'll score higher than the rest of you. I'm going to give her a five. Margot, I, that was an interesting question. Um, the West Edinburgh question, we'll call it. Mm -hmm. If you've been done for the same crime, but one of you's been tagged and the other one's been jailed, mm -hmm. why should the one jailed not get the vote? Because they're not out to vote, it's as simple as that. Well, it's an interesting question. We, you know, loss, loss of freedom can be dependent on the sheriff. Mm. Well, it's, it's a, it's an, yeah, but it's an easy choice because you end up saying the person who was deemed not to be sufficiently threatening to lock up in the jail will let them have the vote because they're sitting at number four. Well, yeah, it might not fine. be a case that. It might be a case that the guy was homeless. So they had to bang him up, you know. Oh, that's true. You know, oh, there's, there's, it, it, it is a can of worms. Wait, wait, how are you going to score her then? But it's an interesting conundrum. Um, I'm going to give her an eight. I'm going to give her an eight. Right. Is that everybody? Except you. Yeah, well, I'm, yeah, I'm, done I'm, gonna, an officer. I'm going right up to... Um, I'm going to give her a four. All right. I'm going to go right up for a... a Alex talent. is getting a nine from me this week. I, I don't agree with you, Nori. I thought she, he was absolutely right on the button with everything today. I couldn't fault him at all. Yeah, um, 
and her grandmild Joanne. I would give her, a, I would have given, I'd have given her a seven or an eight or something if she hadn't for a performance. But I'm sorry, her, her, her subject matter was so low. Absolutely disgusting. I brought in, have a look at, uh, you know, a, a dying really? cancer patient who, cool. I mean, no, it's, I'm sorry, she gets two. I'm not much. She's only that was appalling. Yeah, that was just absolutely appalling. I've just emphasised the point how nasty she was. Um, <laughs> fair enough, Ruth. Well, it was a very good performance, and I think given what the material that she got to work with, even though Salmon totally skewered her, to talking about the Tories as an embarrassing pantomime, I think she did really well. I'm going to give her a six. That was that was weird though, because that was the word she used. Ah, and she just, and just threw it back at him. She threw it back straight oh. back and everybody laughed because they knew exactly what he meant. If you've been following politics. Margo, well I might agree with uh, Phil, and Margo should be our first president in an independent Scotland. Stuff having a queen. And um, anyway, we could end up with Prince Regent Charles apparently, that's the latest rumour isn't it? Regent Juggies, that's the rumor. goodness me. <laughs> uh, so Margo, I'll give Margo a nine. Presiding officer. I still think this desk banging should. I know, okay, the desk banging wasn't particularly bad, but it should be completely out of order. It should be, you know, honourable gentlemen and women, or whatever they, she can politely address them all there. Stop it. And that's. They'd never do it again. And it is annoying. Have I scored everybody yet? Uh, presiding officer. Uh, four. So we wait for the maths. <laughs> Got a draw at the top, Margot and Alex, both on 33, Joanne, 21. Um, I, I actually think she should have been closer, but you've been a dick about content. Well, well it's a dilemma. It is a dilemma. I, 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 I marked uh, her down the same, Nori, it is a big dilemma. Ruth, only 19. I, th I think we're going to kind of have to give her a bit of leeway on content. Because she's sort of hiding in the fish. Yeah, the story, yes. I want to talk about fish. Yes, well, your government's fisheries policy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's no matter what she tries. Aye. Margo, 33. Good stuff. Um, interesting question as well. Some, something to ponder. Yeah, Design yeah. officer, yeah. 18. Um, she, design officers ended up the bottom of the heap. She didn't really have that much to do. But yeah, it's fair comment, I see. That's maybe a bit harsh. Yeah. But I, the, this desk banging thing. Yeah, but the, if the rules don't say you can't bang yeah. your desk, it's it actually it's quite tricky. And because of big stushy, I agree with you. But if, if there's a protocol for the house that says you can't call somebody a liar, which there, as yeah. far as I'm aware there is, but it doesn't say you can't do that. Mm, they have they the, do it. Do they, they not have a rule that says you can't act like it's a, a, a delinquent? It's, <laughs> totally, totally, it's, totally it's a council right. thing banging your desk. On that on that note, um, and given that it was the Labour side that started the desk banging today, I think we'll have to say thank you very much, Phil, Alex, Nori, and it's goodbye from me. And uh, hope you'll tune in, listen, watch next week. Goodbye. <laughs>